did you order one of these super cheap multi-key and knob formatted type macro pads from AliExpress? Because I did. And man, was it a pain to get set up. They're littered all over the Dollar Express section with even bigger versions just to search away. And if you check out the reviews, you'll see hordes of unhappy customers all upset about the same thing. All the drivers for these are gone. The sites are dead, making downloads impossible. And even if you can find it, it's going to be littered with bugs and next to unusable. But I need it for video editing in Excel, so that brings us to today's video. I'll be showcasing an amazing piece of software that allows you to actually use the product you ordered. So join me today as we do what AliExpress did it. Apparently, all the original drivers are unavailable now, and this product is getting a lot of one-star reviews. But with a quick Google search, I discovered MacroPad, a project compiled by Rosie1987 on GitHub. Essentially, what he did was reverse engineer the original Chinese dog crap software and update it to be functional and not written by a high school student. So with this information in hand, I downloaded the newest version and it didn't work. It wouldn't show the windows where you can actually, you know, program the macro keys. So I thought on my feet and downloaded version 1.0. And what do you know, it worked. Everything showed up the way it was supposed to, which left me to fiddle around and learn how to set up these keys. It's described as a six button pad, but wait, there are only three buttons and one knob. That's four, not six. Well, yeah, this knob actually has three functions. Twist clockwise, twist counterclockwise, and press down for a nice solid click. The other three keys use hot swappable switches that like to come out just for funsies. The light modes just straight up suck, so I leave them off. Although for some reason when the PC is asleep, the LED mode actually looks alright. And sadly, every time you unplug the keypad, you're gonna need to go back into the software to remap your macros. But that's pretty easy, I'll show you how to do that right now. Alright, so to program the macro keyboard, you can see right here, we can select whatever button we want. We'll start with 1, then down here we press the record button, and then for an example we'll do Control c press Control and C at the same time, and you can see right there that little C means that we pressed Control, and we can press Stop and Send. Then we'll go to number two, clear, control V, stop, send, number three, clear. And um, normally I have it find it as cut, but let's show that we can actually type something. Stop, send. And then for our dial, <clears throat> for our dial, we will go over to the media keys, and for right, we'll do volume up, send, left, let's do volume down, and then middle click, how about play and pause. Alright, now let's test it out. Okay, I have two Google Docs open here. Just select a bunch of text, click, go over here, paste. And then let's just delete that. And we have Hello. What about our media key? Yep, up and down. And then if we go over here. So there you go. 
hopefully you can now enjoy your AliExpress purchase to the fullest. There are so many possibilities with this. I love messing around with it. Hope you enjoyed watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. You can bind it, like, like, comment, subscribe. See you in the next one.